Last Cannon Podcast. And let's look at these books. It is a library. The majority of the books tend to revolve around magical diseases, elven medical texts. Buggles will concentrate on the lowest shelves. One thing really stands out, a small onyx dog. Uh, Talitha will step into the room. Oh, no. There is a stained wooden operating table. There are diagrams of people in various stages of being vivisected. In the back of the room, a figure materializes, and she's wearing a mask over her face, a mask that seems to just float. Oh, no. She points and she says, they are mine, you fleshy interlopers. Nine points of void damage. Void void damage. As she's just like sucking like entropy out of your body. I'm gonna move up (laughs) behind her here. As you move exactly in that direction. No. You don't notice. No. The floor gives way. Oh no. You will take some damage from the spikes at the bottom of this pit. Oh, spiked pit. So I will run. Okay. Do, 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 do. Run around. around. Right when you get next to her. Oh my God. She just <laughs> winks out of existence. Son of a bee. And appears next to Brother Raven. Oh! <laughs> the Kula Khan reaches into Buggle's satchel, produces the hound, places it down on the table, oh. and activates it. Oh! <laughs> the adventure continues. Now. to the Glass Cannon Podcast. You know, we here at the, the GCN, it's Glass Cannon Network, we're a professional organization. This <laughs> studio alone cost seven and a half million dollars <laughs> to make. But you at home, you want to see a, a real game group playing a game together. And that's what you get to see week in and week out. We like to lift the veil. We like to make it feel real because it feels real to us. But we normally record uh, during the day, during the day hours. It just so happens that this episode is being recorded after hours. You know what that means? Sometimes you have a little (laughs) brewski. Oh, no. Uh, Cheers. Cocktail hour. To the Glass Cannon Podcast. To the Glass Cannon Podcast. Podcast. Hey. Did did we just toast ourselves? We did. (laughs) Uh, to all of you out <laughs> there, to you that. watching at we home. toasted the podcast, Matthew, with it, which isn't just us. That's I agree. A, I agree that's an you. LLC. It's legally distinct from well, that's really <laughs> the Supreme Court says the same as a person. That's to, to everyone, but it's a different person. To everyone watching at home. <laughs> <It's> true. <laughs> yeah, to yeah. everyone watching at home. Joining in there and the truth. Thanks for watching. To everyone watching at home. Cheers. And the troops. Our, and the our troops. sailors at sea. Mm-hmm. And the families of the troops. It's for the children. Um, the children of the sailors. The children of the sailors. The, sa- yeah. the children of all the merchant marines out there working so hard <laughs> flying the shipping lanes. <laughs> we salute you. Stay at school. It is nice to have a have a little cocktail while you sit down and play a game with your friends. It I miss, is. I miss it really with you guys. Nice. We yeah. used to we used to do it way back in the day. Androids and Aliens style. Oh, yeah. Ooh, that was... But we oh, recorded man. late. That was ill-advised. That yeah. was some fun stuff. That's some of the most fun that I've had 
God. Doing a recording was the, some of those, those six, six episodes. Too much. <laughs> six episodes. <laughs> too much. Yeah. In the early part of yeah. 2020. <laughs> six episodes. Those yeah. three recording yeah. sessions. That, that, flame, that yeah. flame burned real bright. Yeah. But it was and, fun uh, because that was when like Nick would just pop by. It was like a sitcom. It's like the wacky neighborhood. Yeah, random just, people like, would just kind of roll. There was, <laughs> do you remember Nick sent? Yeah, he alcohol. Would, yeah. He would like a delivery. He service? deliver beer to us. It was and, amazing. And there was a there was <laughs> there was a, a yeah. nice steakhouse across the street from our old studio, and Nick and Nick's wife Emily, who got dragged along surely against her will, <laughs> showed up after recording on their anniversary. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like this was like an after hours bar, <laughs> and we were in the middle of recording. <laughs> we were all like. I think it's your anniversary. Don't you want to go? Don't you want to like hang out with Emily? And he's like, "Oh, she's coming." <laughs> oh my god! That old studio was great, though. We had a we had a lot of good times. It was huge, the old sex dungeon, and we had a kegerator in well, there. We used to have big parties. We did not use it as a sex dungeon. No, no. no. it was, it was previously, previously a sex dungeon. Right, Wait, really? but we were like a right. year away. Yeah. If COVID hadn't happened, it would have been a sex dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> we were a year away. You took out all it was the a real setback. You're going to put all the modifications back in that you took out yeah. and make it back into a you sex dungeon. You should see, but you've, have you, you got, you've seen, you should you can, see pictures we'll of show the you space. The picture. We'll show you pictures. Like it was featured we in a there. major New York publication. Yeah. No, yeah. I didn't actually know that. Oh yeah. Lots really? Of, it was that whips and chains. I went to it once, but I don't remember a dungeon. That all that stuff. Oh, the was, studio. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I was like, like hey, you just kind of jumped about? right in. <laughs> <laughs> the, du the dungeon. At yeah, the you studio? went to the studio. Yeah. You're not, what we thought you said was, I went to the sex, sex dungeon. dungeon. That studio that you went to studio was. Studio building. No, no. That, that studio space. that you previously went to, that space. Yeah. Previous tenant. Before we rented it, the tenant was a sex dungeon. Oh, I thought there was like club. another little room somewhere that I didn't see. No, no. <laughs> private <laughs> S&M club. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. We all showered in that shower. Yep. I have never showered in that shower. I did. I did. I did. With skin. <laughs> skin. skin. <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> There's a shower available. Skin, do you use it? <laughs> yeah, that was a different time. I'll never pass up the ability to take a remote shower, no matter who else is You love there. it. <laughs> no matter who else happens yeah, to be in the, the shower he knocked at the time. He it's uh, true, though. I love hanging with you guys, eating chips, drinking some brewskis, yeah. playing role playing games. I missed it. So That's fun. It. You guys have so chips? Oh. <laughs> Sydney and I have chips. Oh, no, did we chips. not have bring chips. enough for the whole class? Sorry, Troy. I guess there's no more chips for you. I guess I have, not. I have druid cheese doodles. What? I have vegan cheese cheese doodles. Druid Did cheese druid? doodles. Yeah. Oh, druid. Oh. <laughs> nice oh. twenty episode callback. <laughs> <laughs> druid cheese druid doodles. cheese cheese doodles. Um, yeah, it is fun. You know, we're getting back on the road uh, very soon, like next week, I think. By the time this airs, it might even be this week. Uh, it's fun. It's fun to be on the road with y'all. We, we yeah, it's been yeah. out since. December. And even that was like a one. There's so much going on with PAX. This will be nice. The first show is going to be wild. It's going to be international, technically. Yeah. Oh, and like international. huge. Yeah. Huge. Yeah. So. Big. Ugh. Over. I'm scared. Oversold. It's going to be, it's going to be wild. Overserved. Oversold. Yeah. Overserved. Yeah. Oversold. Uh, you guys have anything else you want to talk about? <laughs> I would like to talk about my shirt. Oh. <laughs> okay. Say the more. Stiffs, I can't the Denver see it. Denver Stiffs. It is the, I have, I'm wearing a, for those who can't see, including those of you at the table, it is it is a Denver Stiffs shirt. What is that? It is a shirt that Matthew was asking about before we started recording. It is a, stiff, it is a shirt that represents the uh, SB Nation blog that was the Denver Nuggets blog that's now defunct, it's gone now, but I have fond feelings for it. The reason they called it Denver Stiffs is because the old coach, one of the former coaches of the team, Doug Moe, uh, used to call everybody Stiffs. Like every, anybody who was six foot nine and above and not very skilled, he says, this guy's just stiff. He's a Brooklyn uh, Italian guy. He says, hey, this guy's just stiff. Danny Shea's a total stiff. And I ran into Doug Mo one time when I was like, Doug Mo it was and is like one of my greatest sports heroes uh, ever. I, I just, I love this guy. He's very funny. The worst uh, cur curse, like disgusting, awful cursor that you've ever seen in your life. <laughs> no one has a filthier mouth than Doug Mo. And I used to go to like uh, Nuggets games all the time when I was a kid. And I was just like, I want to bring some for, I want to meet Doug Mo and I want to bring him something to sign. So I brought him my Latin textbook. <laughs> from ninth grade, my ninth grade Latin textbook, textbook, and so that in those days, like the players and the coaching staff would hang out outside the stadium after the game, 
and you can walk up and talk to him. And I did. And, and he's just like, hey, how's it going? And I like, I, I hand him the book. He's just like, first year Latin. I was like, yes. And, and he starts like spouting off Italian because he's he played in Italy. He played professionally in Italy for a long time. And uh, he's just like, uh, what's your name? I was like, just put Patrick. I was like, all right, <laughs> there you go, Patrick. <laughs> you know, and he signed it to me. And that that book presumably is still in the Denver Public Schools. Oh, I was about system. to ask. You had to give it back. <laughs> so I, I it, so. You had to return the book. And I actually, yeah. And I I bought a, an, a used copy of that same edition of that textbook on the on the one in a trillion chance that it would be the one with a signature. Wait, like as an adult, you bought <laughs> no, like two years ago, uh, and it wasn't heartbreaking. Yeah, right. it was truly. What did you do with it? I gave I gave it back. <laughs> just returned the one I bought. Yeah. Oh, I have it. I refer to it oh, yeah. for, for Latin. Yeah. <laughs> I, used to I wanted a Latin textbook anyway, so it's, it all worked out. Skid. <laughs> Such a weird. I can say. I can say this with 100 percent honesty. My life is so much richer with you. <laughs> when you said I want to talk about my shirt, I had no idea where that story yeah, was. Yeah, and there we are. Uh, you, never you never know. You never know. You never know. You some shirts they want to talk about. <laughs> Joe? No. Any I'm good. Anyone else buy a used copy of their high school textbooks? <laughs> <laughs> I'm it was, it's a great book. It has a, the cover was a, a picture from uh, Ben Hur, that 1959. That's why one reason I liked it. I'm sorry. I was gonna say I'm shocked you didn't just call your school district and say, "Hey, I'm looking for this old textbook I had. I'd gladly trade you a relatively new copy of the same textbook." But I guess is you can't just ask to go into a school these nah, days. That's a shot in the dark. Yeah. yeah, you can't go in and be like, "Can I rifle through all of your yeah. textbooks?" Yeah. Show up at the front door. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> in that, can I, can in I, that cave. I, can I just yeah. the cave. Hey, can I get into the, the library? Yeah. <laughs> can I come to your school and just root around for a while? The more I said it, the more I was I don't like, have any hey. kids. <laughs> I don't have any kids. I don't want to. Do you have any ninth yeah. graders taking yeah. Latin? <laughs> Yeah, I go really well. I'm sure. <laughs> I mean, it does speak to like the heart of a poet that you have. That you were like, first of all, that you brought the textbook in the first place, but then that you gave it back, and then you that on the one in a million chance you still. Oh. I was not. I, this is like speaks to what a romantic I am. I was really disappointed when it didn't oh. it didn't have this. I I really honestly thought that it would be the one, and it wasn't. But it's like that movie um, Serendipity. What is the name? Exactly. What is the name of the book? Good. Uh, it's just first year Latin. First year Latin. Yeah. Ben Hur on the cover. Ben Hur on the cover. If anyone, if Nash, their parents mobilize, yeah. went through the <laughs> Denver public there. school systems, uh, and you, they took In Latin. Or if you work <laughs> for the Denver public school system, yeah. and have access to the books yeah. that were probably pulped. But Mr. Talhoffer, if you're out there, if you remember the book, check please the books, check the books, see if the one with Doug Moe's signature is in it. He's still around. I could still replicate the situation. I could just send my notebook that I have now to Doug Moe, maybe get it back. But I'd rather get the original Mr. Talho for Mr. T, if you're out there, let us know. Maybe he's a fan. Book. Hey, he could be. Yeah. Maybe he's a fan. He was a cool guy. He's one of my, my coolest teacher. I imagine that textbook has been burned yeah. and replaced with a more modern one. Probably. But you never know. <laughs> Probably well, with, uh, it like, definitely got replaced, but they might have might have gotten resold. Could be a, floating around. Could, could be. be. Well uh, also does Latin really change that much? I don't think so. Maybe they're still using it. I heard it's a dead it's a dead language. It's one, the, it's one of the older languages. Yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> also, does Latin really change that much? What, <laughs> what more could they add? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, they're not discovering new facts about <laughs> Latin normally. Well, that was the banter. For <laughs> That's all our time uh, we have. Hopefully it will yield the return of that book. <laughs> we'll find out. Uh, we'll report back. To the break. <laughs> We're recording this now, so we didn't find it. We didn't find out. <laughs> <laughs> There's really no way after we made the uh, request. Just more you, disappointment. The call didn't go out yet. Yeah, <laughs> no. So stay tuned in the coming in weeks. Coming, in we, weeks and months to come, perhaps there'll be a response. We'll do a we'll do a check. I have gotten like I I have gotten at least one gift from a listener that was a book that was scheduled for 
to be removed from a public school library. It was a choose your own adventure <gasps> Star Trek book. Oh. Get out of here. Uh, oh, wow. So it's possible. You know, you never know. You never know. I received a gift once of something that I'd mentioned on the show. Not like, oh, please get it for me. Uh, but it was the uh, Dagobah Luke was the only uh, oh, right. Luke Scott. Did you give you a Dagobah Luke? Yeah, a Dagobah Luke. Because I, I have all of them in the boxes from when oh. they were Wait, elite. not the Bespin Fatigues Luke. No. The previous. Dagobah Luke. Dagobah Luke with like the backpack, backpack, backpack. for Yoda. Yeah. Uh, I, I had, 90s. I collected all of them. I have them all in the cardboard in still in the case, but I just never was able to get Dagobah Luke. Wow. I have the 90s, like when they released the special editions, they really, Kenner released a whole new set of action figures. I have the Dagobah Luke from that set. That was the one that I was missing, yeah. Oh, that's the one you're talking about? Yeah. Yeah, I have my mom, but I didn't have that one. Someone brought it to me at like a con. There you go. Anybody ever bring you I anything? remember that. So nice. Well, uh, tons of stuff, but not collectible. But things that you mentioned on the show. Yeah. Like, oh, I wish oh, I had these dice. I actually, I was, I was shameless. I, had, I was having trouble finding them, but the, the 12 sided D6s, which uh, were favorite, Oh, yeah. That's cool. Die, that's fun. I was clued into a source on these. That's awesome. Somebody gave me a really nice gift. <laughs> this calculator <laughs> <laughs> was given to me by Danny and Carolyn. Thank you, Danny and Carolyn. I hate it. <laughs> is it is it Carolyn or Carolyn? Carolyn, like, but it's spelled not like Caroline. It's C A R A, Carolyn. So I want to make sure I really hit that oh. second A. Hopefully, Carolyn. I'm not Carolyn. Good. Carolyn, yeah. yeah. Sweet My mom's name is thank you. No, but thank you guys. Carolyn. Very funny. We all had a good <laughs> laugh. My mom's name is Carolyn. Spelled that way? No. Oh. Okay. <laughs> End of story. What does your mom think of Dagobah Luke? Let's play Pathfinder. Let's play Pathfinder. Let's I thank she, our sponsors. Yes. Please, she, thank she you. Why don't you Plane. thank them for a change? I'll thank them for a change. Thank you, Debbie Plane, for this dope-ass character sheet. Why are you shouting? Uh, so there's a lot of different, like, um... Uh, skins that you can put on your character sheet with Demi Plane, a lot of like uh, personalizing that you can do. And when we first did it, I had Brother uh, Ramius doing more of a cleric -y vibe, and I eschewed the like uh, Lovecraftian sort of strange Aeon's -y vibe character sheet. Uh, I've since cycled back to that because it's so perfect. What? Around his profile are these small burning candles, and the whole background is just books. Ooh. Oh, yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. meant to be for like a more Lovecraftian sort of game, but pff, it's perfect, perfect for Brother Amy. So thank you, Demi Plane. Awesome. And then, of course, uh, Foundry VTT, who has been amazing and mm -hmm. who's uh, uh, just the details of this VTT have really taken our game to a whole new levu. And then Norse Foundry. Skid, what, what do we say about Norse Foundry? Norse Foundry. For all your random number generating needs, that's Norse Foundry. Not just... Uh, any any need that's not just for gaming that's that's it's that's should be their new slogan it's not just for gaming anymore if you just say i just need a number from one to twelve four <laughs> wow go Bam. to the store whatever boom <laughs> breakfast heard it, heard it here literally breakfast anytime you at the roll. game at the like baseball game doesn't even have to be a, a, a tabletop game it could be a baseball game do you guys ever roll a d20 uh just randomly to uh, ask if some event is going to occur, almost like a magic yeah, like ball. magic eight ball, yeah, yeah. You ever do that? Sure, you do that sometimes. Wait like, for your life. It's not going to be a good yeah, night for your life. Yeah. Why do you do that of natural all? Five. Why no. do yeah. you do that of all people? One. Because sometimes it's a natural <laughs> one. Do and I get excited. <laughs> do you get disappointed? Oh, no, I'm serious. <laughs> you never do this. No, no, no. I do. No. I do it. What 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 number is this? High numbers qualify as a good night. Yeah, it, one time. Yeah, I yeah. Higher the number, the be better the night. Or higher. Fourteen is like gonna be like solid. You a know tweener. what I mean? Like yeah, ten, eleven, twelve is kind of like mediocre. Be mediocre. Huh. Sometimes I use the dice to decide what awful things to do to my Sims. <gasps> oh, that's, that's, that's good. Fun. That's a good reason. I'll like write them all down on paper and like the oh, dice you'll is make a what I'll remove. Oh, or what I'll do. Kate. Yeah. Stream idea. Yeah. Dude, that's a great idea. That was one of the f my favorite video game streams that I've ever seen. That was was us playing doing Sims. Sims. <laughs> yeah. So, oh god, that would uh, be, I uh, put a bunch of um like random celebrity NPCs throughout the world just Dua to Lipa see if they would up. show up. Do a Lipa, Lipa showed up to the house. <laughs> showed up while Sydney's character and didn't we was kiss? there? Didn't we? Yeah. Didn't and I had you guys. We of course, the first thing I do, I'm like, they're gonna make out. <laughs> 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 what do you do with your? Do. What do you do with your Force dolls? Him to make out. Yeah, clearly Joe's never played The Sims. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what you guys do. play that's with dolls. Do. Uh, anyway, I think that's a great idea for a stream. That's fun. It Deciding. Is. I love charts. I love games that have full charts, so it's like everything written down for, a, for that. a D twenty. There's a table for that. 
I use a D20 every, the first class of every semester, instead of doing the same icebreaker question for my, my class, I have them roll, I pass around a D20, and they roll for one of 20 random questions. Wow. Oh, nice. That's fun. That's fun. And then like the that. nerds in the room are like, respect. <laughs> I have my kids do it uh, in competition for things. Ooh. Whoever gets the higher die gets to go to the whatever first. Whoever gets the higher one gets ice cream. The other one. Goes oh, that's straight that's to a bed. good. That's a healthy way to make them <laughs> kind of stuff. Kind of oh, they get so a, mad at each other. Keep they them cry. at each other's throats as they grow up. You can see the way they <laughs> cry. Yeah. Well, no, you're way. training them to understand that high numbers are important. <laughs> And low numbers suck. Unless, you can you're, also, unless you're playing Call of Cthulhu. Importantly, right. use yeah. the dice to play Pathfinder, which we should probably do now. Yeah. Right. I was going to say, oh, when yeah. I'm not playing this game, I try to not think about the existence of dice. <laughs> whatsoever. <laughs> uh, however, today we're going to need some dice because you are in mid combat. We're going to need some over 15 rolls, yeah. like left and right, or it's not happening. Can you tell we were stalling? Oh, forgot how bad you guys was. are in a... In a dill pickle here, because you have Who's been exploring uh, the court of Canepo the Slim, this this tree stump that was his prison, apparently, but a prison that over millennia he has, he has shaped into something much more grand. And during that time, they also recruited strange allies, an insectoid artist named the Chronicler. A centaur captain of the guard named Captain Salah, along with her auger companion. I was wondering about these these NPCs. Like, before we rolled in here and murdered them, did they have like lunch together? You know, where they were like, "You on break? You want to <laughs> hang out?" Like, you haven't found the cafeteria. The centaur, yet. the muscle, <laughs> yeah, they're eyeball in here killer, for like and the centuries. Yeah, exactly. Centuries. They know each other. And the chronicler, yeah. like, do they just hang out by the water cooler? Or are they like, did you see Game of Thrones last night? <laughs> Guess you'll find out at the end of this adventure, or not, because that's dumb. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> really I don't negative. think it's that dumb a question. But you came into that. this room, and it's a like vivisection theater. You see blood everywhere. You see instruments neatly placed. On a table to the west, you see another table with notes, drawings, detailed illustrations showing like the phases of vivisection for the most recent victims, you would think, of whatever's going on in here. And you recognize a younger woman, perhaps Maybelline, Maybelline. an older man, perhaps Henry Buckets. I didn't even think of that. I didn't think of that either. You didn't think of them? It's, he was telling well, us I, specifically. He was and that, telling and then, specifically the three and then the people. Oath. I know, but I didn't I, think. I didn't make the connection. That they would be here in this room. Yeah. yeah. Esper's probably swimming in their, and in their then, innards right now. A younger man with a wooden septum piercing. And then our guy. Our guy. Must be yeah. Varna. Varna. Oh. I was I'm, not. I was so. Septum. I was so taken with the room and everything. And I was like paying attention to that. When you said that, I, my brain went, Volon. But we killed him. No problem. Just was not paying attention. I yeah. was. Yeah. So everybody's everybody's dead. I, after reviewing uh, last week's episode, I have a question, mm -hmm. which is, uh, do we believe that this creature that we are in contact with right now, because this is important, like phased into existence? Because we saw no signs of any danger. Or like, did she, was she invisible? If you remember last week, um, some of you looked into the room, didn't see anyone. Actually, all of you looked in and saw that, but it was Asta and Zephyr that got the sense that someone was in here recently. Yeah. And then this Shay manifests out of thin air. Out of thin air. Seemingly. Yeah, see, this uh, is freaking blood out. Blood covering her black and white striped robe and face, shadow hair streaming from behind. Did seem to come out of thin air. Okay. Was it invisibility? Was it perhaps some other spell? Was she hiding in plain sight? You don't know, but she just was it just not there, she, and then she yeah, was there. So, like, I feel like let's say let's say <laughs> the really unlikely chance that this goes well, can she just flit off, vanish again, go somewhere? You know what I mean? It's like, yeah, it concerns me. We've we've dealt with similar things recently. Yes, we have in other in games other that games. I games. will not mention here. Well, did you deal with a pit? Because Zephyr uh, went running to try and aid her friends and fell into a trap door that uh, I believe uh, Sydney was like, oh, they must lift up the table and dump the bodies into here. Or was that Matthew? I think it was Matthew. Yeah, that sounds more like a Matthew comment. 
<laughs> I talk about how where, how to dispose of bodies all the time. So. That's right. As a writer, you have to think about stuff. Like yeah. Come up with creative solutions for that. Yeah. Fell down in the pit. Luckily, you didn't take any bludgeoning damage, but you did get pierced by these blood-soaked spikes. Other bodies down there, having already been disposed of, you climb out. And now you're in mid-battle here with this Shay. Buggles reaches into his pocket and pulls out an onyx Right. Oh, right. Oh, yeah. The dog, dog was the cliffy. Buggles does not do that. The Kuulakan is the one who does right, that. Buggles How do you spell Kuulakan? Uh, C U apostrophe U U L A C A N. Thank you. Kuulakan. Places it on the table and uses two actions to activate it. As you do so, you hear a voice. In your mind, no one else hears this. It is directly at you that says, Name me! To me? Yeah. To the Kuluakan. Uh, Kuluakan. Kuluakan. Uh, okay, I do. I have an answer for this. Uh, oh dear. Oh no. Oh boy. Oh jeez. He's he's going to the internet. Uh, I name you Chami. It is death. Chami and a onyx hound appears on the table. <laughs> now, in terms of the mechanics of how this works, this is a, a creature that has the minion trait. So. It took you three actions, one to pull it out, two to activate it. On your next turn, you can use an action to command it, and then it has two actions to oh, attack. I've never oh. had this. Oh, that's never great. Had Wait, an have you never companion. had an animal companion in all of our shows Never ever? in any oh. show. Wow. Certainly not second edition, but no, never, I don't think so. Wow, wow that's, that's so fun. All right, yeah. how do you spell it? Uh, C-H-A-M apostrophe, or uh, yeah, apostrophe E. Uh, I, I. Shame. Chami. 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 Chami has entered the combat. It is now Talitha's turn. Um, okay. Uh, Chalitha is possibly going to receive some aid from Brother Ramius. So first things first, she will devise a stratagem. Come on, dude. Nat 20, the stratagem. Yeah. Has a natural three work for God oh, damn it. God. <laughs> Brother Ramius starts throwing up. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, new guy in the corner. <laughs> new guy uh, in the corner puking his guts. <laughs> uh, All right, God. not human. Can I attempt a second knowledge check with my known weakness to uh, f know what's going on with her phase blink ability? No. Really? Yeah. Okay. Um, well, you already did a recall knowledge on it, right? I did, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, well, wait, were you successful? Yes. yes. Yeah. I can do it. Oh, so you can recall further. Yeah. Yes. yes. But you, I'm sorry. DC will be higher. You'll have to get a higher roll. Okay. But by, by the book. Yes. I, well, yes. Yeah. I'm sorry. You're right. I forgot. Did you. I do occultism or arcana? I can't remember now. I think you did occultism when you did it on her. Definitely. I think, I think so. Arcana? I don't know. <laughs> 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 you did whichever one's better, actually. <laughs> It doesn't matter. Did you just lose the first knowledge you had? I just forgot everything I knew. <laughs> <laughs> She's allergic to air. It's a, it's, a, it's a 15. We can do nothing. We don't need to do anything and she'll die. <laughs> She's allergic to air. She'll run away. They're like med flies. They have a lifespan of two, three hours maximum. <laughs> All right. So instead of instead of attacking, I will not, because I rolled a natural three on the, on the device of stratagem, I will instead uh, pop a quick tincture for an elixir of life and heal myself. Okay. Two actions. Pop, make the quick tincture. Drink. Asta. I am going to hold because if I run up to her and she blinks out again, I'm wasting all my time running around. I need to spell strike her. So I'm going to hold. To hold. Now goes to the top of round three. It is her turn. She goes to stab at Zephyr. Come on, Come Zeph. at me, bro. 26 to hit. <sighs> Yeah, that's a hit. It's not a crit. Hit not a crit. You take seven points of piercing damage, followed by another two points of cold. And then she takes like a stance with her arms outstretched and just kind of looks around the room at all of you. Face 
indiscernible behind that mask. You just see it looking at all of you. And it is Zephyr's turn. What? Mm. Come on, man. She She takes like a stance, or she took a stance? Looks like a stance. Ugh, hit your bad English. Spread it. (laughs) Like a stance? Like a stance. (laughs) Like a stance. Takes like a stance. For the very first time. (laughs) Beautiful. Throw her in the pit. That's what I want to do. I want to grapple and throw her in the pit. You want to grapple and attempt to throw in the pit. It's fun. So we'll Joe's grapple. upset, but it's fun. Undeniably fun. I yep. attempt an athletics check against your fortitude DC. Against my fortitude So I'm taking D. a gamble here. I don't know what your fortitude is. C. Could be low. Okay. Could be low, could be high, could be medium. Um, your athletics are good. I could roll like shit. No. You are a trained martial artist. Come this on, man. the kind man. of thing you All should right. be able to reliably do. Yeah. Here yeah. is what I need you to do. As this creature is made of shadow, they are concealed in dim light, even to creatures that can see at those light levels. So give me a flat check against concealed. Now that Brother Ramius has moved to the back of the room and is no longer providing light to this section. Ah. Uh, 16. 16. You may attempt to grapple. All right, here we go. It's the Fort Athletics. D.C. I just rolled a natural 16, and I swear. So I want you to waste the good roll. Natural two. Oh, all right, so now we don't know all right. at all. Well, now we need to know what the total is, because there are um, failure to fumble and critical failure. Nine is a critical failure. No, oh. no, 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 no. This is, no. Why. this is why. Attack. If you already have the target grabbed or restrained, it breaks free. Your target can either grab you as if it had succeeded at using the grapple action against you, or force you to fall and land prone. Yum, 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 yum. You fall and land prone. Okay. Into the pit. No. You fall and land <laughs> prone that. into the you pit. Can't, no, you can't do that. Well, <laughs> I mean, you can get amazing. your bow. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Forgot about that. Always bow. seeing the bright side. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Joe. The bow, the bow washes up against the uh, semi decomposed face of. Uh, the oak steward. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that so that balance? was one action. That was Barner. one action. Barner. Now you're laying on now the ground. Now I'm on the ground. Barner. Staring which is at her. Sick. Uh, so I'm gonna get up, and then Looking I'm going to flurry of bolts. Oh my god. Hold on. We <laughs> <laughs> got another one. It's gonna be one more. We got another one. Try to swallow it. Okay. And then I'm gonna flurry of blurs. <laughs> Our cinematographer's trying to yeah. run from the room. <laughs> <laughs> He's like sneezing it's in the house. general direction. Wave off the droplets. <laughs> <laughs> Troy coming kind of back going, okay, blur, blur. Just blur, blur, blur. You, look, you look so yep. sick right now. <laughs> it's the hops. It's the hops. <laughs> do the blur, blur, blur. All right, so I got a blurry of blows with my fisty fists. Let's go. Natural 20. There we go. Oh, there we go. Boom. Yeah, Zephyr is so pissed right now. She's critical like, oh, I'm not doing anything cool. Critical, 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 critical. So she goes. No. You succeeded on the flat check. Oh, no. with a natural 20. I'm sorry. That's not, that's bullshit. That is, that's bullshit. It is not. Sorry, you don't have to not. roll a flat check first. You have to roll it first. <laughs> That way, you never have these debates anymore. Let her. Do you have, have it. to roll it first because Joe prefers it that no, way? No, you have to roll it first because you have to set a standard by which you don't have to ever argue again. No, it's cool. This will be we great. I'll definitely hit now. We, I did it the We've opposite way. We've done it the opposite episode. way a bunch of times. That's I bullshit. think from now on. Natural nine. You succeed at the flat check and you hit with the critical. For a total yeah. of. No, uh, for what? Bullshit. What am I doing? I object. I'm sorry. <laughs> we established this a couple eps ago that that's how we're going to do it. A couple eps ago, it was me who had to roll it, and we roll it the opposite way. I don't remember that. We rolled the opposite. I way. think establishing is important. You can it establish is. after the fact. We're establishing after check. the fact, after we've celebrated. This could be and a valuable a object lesson. This is like, oh, this is a great reminder that from going on, going forward, <laughs> that we should enact this practice. No, it's but cool. I'll just never do anything. Uh, it's, this, is, uh, this is bullshit. 17 <laughs> to hit. Uh, no, it's a mess. I'm sorry. Yep, we just cool. did the flat check seconds ago. <laughs> And you would think that she was able to see it, so maybe and you it would know carry what was over or something. You know what was interesting? Instead of being a, a like a good educator and saying, like, you know what? We're going to do it like this from now on and making it canon. You just did it in your head. No, we did that. We said that. Never said that. We have absolutely said Skid, that. Skid, have you heard it? 
Uh, I, I have an unreliable memory, but I do not recall this. Sydney, Kate, happening. you ever hear it? I mean, obviously. never heard it, and I have the best memory. <laughs> Did you talk about it on Cannon Potter? <laughs> no, because I don't watch Cannon Potter. No, it's just something what do we, we think discussed the fans around the want. I watch all it the Cannon Potter. We've never talked about, about it. If it didn't just happen seconds ago, I would consider the. But arc. you didn't define it. We, we did two. I think it was last week's episode. Two episodes ago. Maybe two I episodes. I rolled it ago. the opposite way, and nobody said anything. Wow. So this is a Kate hate. I'm session, sorry. I guess. We get as a Kate hate train. I'm sorry. We also do like the fortitude stuff for my uh, feet backwards upside down all the time. <laughs> We're beating Nobody him. cares. <laughs> Quick, do one but more. No, We're, I want to beat 20 and it's like, you know what? Sorry, okay. I get out the pit. It's like, you know what? Maybe you didn't get out the pit. You know what? Fine. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. So sorry. All flat checks are first. Period. Cool. Simple. You know why? It's very simple. I'm glad we've established that rule. It doesn't make any Going sense why? to have it be set. What if you forget that you have to make a flat check? Like, I'm rolling to hit right now. That was the intention of the roll. Right. That was exactly what And no one stopped Matthew me what, until I roll the natural 20. what intentions mean. But in this case, how everything. important are intentions, Matthew? In this case, everything. Don't yeah, you remember you the 2000 election? You can't just flip and flop whenever you, you feel can. like it. Of course you can. We do all the time. <laughs> what? No, it's just a really cool. episode. No, I'm saying his ethos is that intentions don't matter. No, that's not life. the ethos. That's not at all. <laughs> this is why Have we shouldn't drink at Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> The family's fighting. <laughs> I'm, I'm just scared. saying, it's a simple way to, to do it. If this, were I, a rule, is this, if this were a rule in text, you'd have a case, but you have no leg to stand on. You guys are both being bullshit. Right? No, we're not. I mean, I, it, the only reason they're all fired up is because it was a natural 20. But of like, course I well, have. Of course, but it's also like Kate has done nothing but roll garbage for like four straight episodes. You can't she finally has a win, I'm, and you I'm rob happy it for, for him for to no give it to her. For no good reason. But he's not, no good and reason. I'm not going to let him stand alone because I agree. That's all. Well, guys, well, you know what? No, now well, we I know, know who my friends now are. Now we know yeah, where you know, Joe know. stands, and I think that's the most important lesson of all of this. I just think Stand it's important. To know. I'm trying to find anything on the internet that supports anything you're saying, and I found literally zero. <laughs> I think it's up to America to decide, dude. If we were live right now, people would be booing the heck out of you. I think yeah. they probably are. Yeah, they are. Hundred percent. Right I, I think they're probably not a big fan. Hundred percent. Here's a big question: Do you have any actions left? No, that was my last action. Obviously. Hold on. Hold on. I'm remembering you doing the was exact doing blows. last episode. Not last episode. Yes, no. last episode because you were roll, you would roll the hit and you're like, let's see if it hits, and then roll the flat check. No, that was yeah. That you've was, done that, was that many Sydney times. Was with Sydney last episode. You've done that many times. You're like, let's see yeah. if you even hit first before we do the show. It's an easy way to solve this. Just say this is the standard you've going done forward. You've that to me yeah. Congrats on your critical hit. Yeah. This, this is the standard going forward. It's Brother Ramis's turn. Unbelievable. I still yes. have one Sorry. more hit. You're right though. He did do it last time. It was flurry of blows. So I get one more hits. Yes. Do I know roll another flat check? Yes, you have to always. All right, now even we though know. it's one action, one because yeah. it's two attacks, right? Each attack needs a flat check. I'm sorry, Kate. I think it is tech. I don't know. I don't. Know. Who cares? Two. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> See, now you don't have to do the. Ad. See, <laughs> see, see. <laughs> Times this is good. It's your turn. Times this is good for. It's your turn yeah. now. <laughs> Brother Ramius, would you like to chug turn a turn? <laughs> chug my beer. <laughs> Um, wait, you might want to check with Troy first to see if there are any more arbitrary standards <laughs> yeah. for lying after like, the fact. You should <laughs> touch your die. In my defense, if Joe didn't agree with me, I'd You should make sure. Oh, come on. Don't <laughs> throw me under the bus. Don't throw me under the bus. Bye, hey. Joe. Uh, concealment is torture. It is a brutal, brutal part of this game. That's why light That's is why we should so endeavor important. to make it worse. That's why we should <laughs> so impose we get. more penalties uh, on top. More arbitrary it. reasons to make it You know what sucks more? Lucky had that awesome feat where if a creature was concealed, she was able to use her hearing and they would have less of a, a disadvantage against against her. Mm. Would have been so cool in a situation like this. It's as if I built her for a situation like this. Just like this. Um, well, I don't know what to do to keep, uh, you know, all right, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have light be a big factor here. So he's gonna move up. And Asta's delaying, which I don't think is a bad call at all. I don't but, know what else to do. Yeah, we don't, but like, we don't know about this ability. That's the problem. We also can't leave Zephyr. And I have not done a recall knowledge yet. Uh, however, I don't have, I don't think, the necessary recall knowledge in any of my actions. Um, okay. I am going to move up next to Asta and uh, try to center myself somewhat in the room to make the light, uh, the 20 feet of light, as much in the battle area as possible. And then Brother Amius is going to pray for protection from the Keeper. And he's doing this protection from the keeper. Yeah, to he's doing this specifically to 
God shield me from you. Yeah, for real. <laughs> because he, he's doing this because he still has not healed himself. Mm -hmm. He is uh, pretty close to death and needs to be able to stay up to heal everybody else. So with this round, I'm going to cast Sanctuary on myself. Okay. Can we so start he, talk strategy for a minute? So why... Yeah. None of us have an attack of opportunity, right? Correct. No. Don't you? I'm an investigator. No, only fighters. Oh, I was only thinking, uh, what's her name? Yeah. I don't. Only fighters with some exceptions. But so let's say, she, let's say she can do this, this, this ability as a reaction multiple times every so often. I mean, I'm, guessing it, I'm guessing it's what, every one D3 rounds or something? I don't think that exists really. To me, it's either a spell, which is like, like a focus spell, because you can have a spell as a reaction, and that could be a focus spell, yeah. which would be like, she can't do it again this combat. But she didn't. But I, I haven't seen her miss actions. Then last, I don't like last episode. I'm trying to remember. But she. What do you mean miss actions? Like, she would have to spend actions to cast the spell, right? No, some spells are reactions. They only oh, cost they a reaction to spend. Yeah. So it could be a spell. But the worst case scenario is that it is just an innate reaction, which means once per round she could do it. So that's what we're not 100% sure. It would be OP. It would be crazy does. OP. But also, but, you guys mentioned that a character, a creature like this, was it? Party killer, so. Yeah, that was one e. Well, that was just our. We, we were bad. To die to one, but <laughs> it's yeah. also. Um, it's not promising, is what I'm a, saying. We had a bunch of joke characters. Yeah. In those oh, okay. Situations. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. Uh, we don't know. We just didn't yeah. do the the it, knowledge check. I'll, to, I'll try to get a, a knowledge check off. But. To me, Matthew, I'm holding because Asta really gets her power from the spell strike stuff. I can cast spells from a distance, but it's like one d four, you know. So if I cast from a distance and then use my movement, I still can't even use my movement to get up into melee with her sure, but right he, now. But here's the, the, the one thing I'll say against that, and I completely support the delay. I love a good delay. He loves a delay. <laughs> is if you go up there now and she teleports out, like, then we know. Question answered. But there's no way to stop us. There's None of us have an AOO, so there's no real way, no real advantage to... Forcing her to jump? There's no real advantage either way. Like we're, we need to be able to hit her. So I'm waiting for her to come to where well, we everybody have, we is. We have a, we have some significant range damage in um, Buggles. I also want Buggles, Buggles dog. and I want Buggles' dog to attack. Buggles and Zephyr, but Zephyr's under melee attack right and now. Oh wait, no, she pit. doesn't have a bow. She doesn't have a bow. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I, that's why I'm like, I think. Well, I the other think, thing is, if somebody forces it, then it's at least done for the round. Yes, that's so right. everybody else can move to her true. and swarm. Okay, attack, it's true. Which, but if Troy's playing strategically, he's going to wait until it's Asta. So. Or and if maybe. I could climb over the table easily, I wouldn't lose my action economy to leaping. So I'm not moving. Right. And we would have known if you didn't, you rolled a natural three. You it's know what fault. I mean? Like yeah. if you hadn't rolled that, we'd know right now. But Blame both of you for everything. <laughs> I was really, this is all Joe's fault. Yeah. I think we can all agree. But he means well. Does he? Sorry, Kate. I love you guys. I'm not listening. <laughs> Joe, <laughs> Asta can get, there in one, can get to her in one move action. I Are cannot. You Are you done? I am done. Yeah, move and a two action, John. Keeping my trying to keep my light in the center of the room. All right, so yeah, Buggles, it is your turn. It takes one action to command, and then you and the dog will have two actions each, basically. Okay. It's Thirty feet. Uh, you can take a diagonal. There's so a table. You can go. You can move diagonally. Around. Matthew's telling me I can move diagonally around a table. Is that true? Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, it's uh, that's a Troy rule. It's up to Troy. So I can't step on the table, but I can move diagonally around the table. And that's fine. Yeah, it eats more. You move. But 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 it's five feet, and then it takes ten feet. So it would be if you go diagonal, diagonal. Five, then fifteen, then twenty, then twenty-five. She doesn't get to her. Yeah, she can get to her. I can get to her. Yeah, yeah. you can move diagonally, but it just costs you ten movement every other. I didn't realize other I could cut the corner because you were talking about how when we shoot around stuff, if anything is in a square, then it's you know covers. Yeah, so if it I was can... a wall, I'd be pretty. I'd be well, like, you can't move diagonally past a wall. It'd be fifteen yeah. feet to get opposite but it, table. But right it's now. a table. And then you got another two. You guys feet. with the table rules is kind of wishy washy, but okay. She, you can get to her in 25 feet. I can get to her in 25. I'm going to let Buggles go, see what the dog does, and then I'll probably take my turn. Go ahead, Buggles. Okay. okay. Uh, so, Buggles, the Kuula Khan, levels his glowing gaze at Chani, or Tommy, and uh, says, Go tear the shadow from the void, kill her. <laughs> with the intention of having the hound, and I guess this is going to have to be two actions because I put it on the table to begin with, so it's going to have to move to the edge and then leap off into her, into range of her. But so, Do you want it to be right next to her? Yeah. Okay. Can I make a suggestion? Sure. Can the dog stand here 
in the space that's got a table over it because the yeah. dog could go under the table, but we cannot. Right. Uh, so mm. leap over and uh, to the furthest western side of the room, leaving space for someone else to come in. And also, now you're flanking. Uh, ah, oh, yeah. no. Uh, Zephyr's on the ground. No, I'm not. I just well, back up. up. Use an action. Yeah, flanking with yeah. Zeph. Tommy is flanking. Uh, all right, so. Tommy is flanking. And you can flank from the ground. That's fine. Ah. Yeah, okay. she's a monk. She's still she threatening from the, from the ground. Yeah, yeah. All right, so the dog moves to there. Are you going, Asta? Oh, no, you have still, you still, still two actions. Yeah, it's still my turn. So uh, then this, um, with the, like, subtitles, it is just like, <laughs> I see if you can resist a force from the mind. And this globe of frost, like, shoom, like, slams, forms around her and then slams shut. Give me a fortitude save, please. Fortitude save. 21. Okay, so that is a basic success. Yeah, basic. And we'll see what this does. And this is this is amped as well. Okay. Uh, Ooh. Okay, Ooh. so that is 10 points ordinarily of cold damage. Uh, half, so that's five. So probably nothing, I'm guessing. Yeah. Um, uh, but you probably were so close, like yeah, yeah. So you, even a, even a little bit more probably would have damaged her. Yeah, yeah. she shakes it off, and now it is to leave this turn. Uh, wait, I, wait, I'm sorry. Uh, so the dog had just the one move, couldn't attack. Leap. It had to Leaped. move and then leap. Mm, the Joe okay. Bryan leap rule. Well, uh, I don't know that leap applies if you're going downhill. Stop it. To leave it. Okay. Now you want to help. Now you, yeah, now you, you want to help the dog. You don't want to help a player. I'm a servant of the system. Lacey's consistent. Son of a B. I can't tell you how many times in a row you invent, you invent something in your head. It's either not a rule or you feel like it is a rule. And then all the rest of us are just like, it's just, we have to also suffer <laughs> problem for your self hate. Yeah. Devise a stratagem. Uh, okay. Uh, I think that missed last time. You know what? I'm gonna try it anyway. Okay, so Talitha will advance, uh, and as you move there, it boom, appears yeah, on the other there side we go. of Zephyr. Yep. Okay. So then, and that is why you delay. Yep. Smart player. Knew it was gonna happen. Bam. Oh yeah. <clears throat> okay, so Talitha will use her third action to move around to flank her. Son of a bitch. Oh, am I, in your, am I in your space? No. Oop. Yeah, I mean, okay. you are. Yeah, never mind. Never mind. Get out of there right now. Third, how did you get around there? Oh, because you walked. I walked through Zephyr. But you had to have to walk through her as well, right? No, this space right here. Below her. You walked diagonally from Zephyr's uh, space. You kind of did that space. little. Matthew's walking south. I see you. And then east. All right, so. East. You, you east. move and then. Devise a stratagem. Move. <laughs> Move, move again. again. Okay. It is so deadly to have this fight all around this pit. Everybody's like uh, right up on the pit. Asta comes back to you. Yeah, and I delayed a whole round for nothing, and then I'm going to move. Um, Asta is going to run. As you move there, it zips and appears behind Buggles. It can't be flanked. It can't be flanked. Uh, no, wait. No, 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 no. What, what's the rule here? What's going on? Something very, very cool. It and it's not two, a reaction. It used two reactions in a turn, though. Mm -hmm. Well, now we know. Can't be flanked. Okay. Every time no, we no, it can't be hit in melee. No, no, no. There's something starts. going on. As soon that you don't know. Every time we have flanked it, it zips out. It wasn't just the flank. It wasn't flanked. It wasn't. That was the first yeah. time she was flanked. Yeah. Besides the dog, the dog flanked her and she didn't move. Oh, you're right. You're right. I thought that was her trigger reaction. She's it's just, just waiting it's, for you. It's at will. Just watching it unfold perfectly. Okay. Well, wait. Was that all my movement? Let me check. Um, it has been. It has been asked about both. That's probably just one chunk of move, right? Yeah. And yeah. I, is it I'm just gonna well, what he's saying is it's, it's outside the rules, so maybe she's like uh, yeah. predicting the future or something. No, I can't. Like, I have to stay where I am. This move. Oh, this is so she annoying. Is in a stance. I mean, she that. spent an action to do that, so yeah. maybe that's what it is. Let me see my distance, Son 60 feet. Okay, so I, I was going to do a spell strike. I can't. I'm not in melee, yep. but I'm going to still cast what I was going to cast, slashing gust. Um, okay. So I slash through the air, and this like force wave <laughs> phew, right to her. Okay. Uh, She's got cover from several creatures, but does that stack or no? Nope, just, uh, it's just plus two. I'm oh, sorry, just lesser cover. Okay. Unless you say the table gives her cover. With it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Two. Okay. It's a, oh, it's a 10. No! Uh, <laughs> and Critical. that's my cool turn. Austin moves over there, triggers this, and now it's her turn again. So frustrating. Shapers. She can jump behind the casters and then just, it's her turn immediately. She Brutal. goes to stab Buggles. Buggles, no! Not no! Worthy. 
That is going to be a 19. Uh, that is a hit. 19 mm. on the Bugmeister. It's going to be eight points of piercing and three points of cold okay. for 11 total. The dagger God damn. slips in. And again, she stretches her arms out and watches. If you didn't know any better, you'd know she was smiling behind that mask. All right, let's, let's, let's be strategic here. Zephyr's yeah. turn. Let's so the moment that Buggles is stabbed, like it's like, oh, like the lights in his eyes like vanish oh, no. dim and it's he and the, the sphere of energy around him also dissipates and he's like, he's back to himself and he says, <gasps> and he's stupefied and frightened. Oh no. Yeah. Stupefied and frightened? Uh, well, not frightened, frightened. Like uh, he's scared. flavor, frightened, flavor, yeah. frightened, but yeah, flavor, frightened. flavor, frightened. Flavor flavor frightened. frightened. Uh, let's, let's be strategic here. We've now got. It, I think what we should do is basically put put ourselves on the poles of the room and have one of us be the be the person. I think it should be Asta who kind of m- moves her from pole to pole. Does that make sense? And everyone tries to get a hit in. Yeah, when she when she jumps. The thing is, to spell strike, it's two actions. So like, yeah. I need to get. I, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do it. I think you just have to hit her. Every every bit of damage counts. Yeah. Okay. So, but I think because you 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 are mobile and you can you can hit her from range and from melee. Yeah. I can only hit her from melee. Buggles is only range. Zephyr, you're only melee now. Yeah. So maybe if we can get one person over with Buggles, and then I can stay over here, and the dog can come with me, or vice versa, and then Asta can move back and forth. Does that make sense? That way, if she, we are basically pushing her to jump, but she's going to jump. Like we're not all piled up. Like right now, we're most of us are all piled up on one side. So we shouldn't leave Buggles alone, and we shouldn't leave Brother Ramius alone. It yeah. Is, it is Zephyr's turn. This is hard because, like, it, it seems unlimited. There, there, there seems yeah. to be no. Now that could be that she had set that up. With, you know, with that action, and all she did was attack Buggles. That's all she did. So yeah. now once. So it's a two action. So now she is set up to do this again whenever she wants. As a two action jump. Yeah. Most likely. And and she just doesn't seem to use it against people. She doesn't care about hitting her. Also, maybe I shouldn't be the one to go up to her because she's not attacking whoever is in melee with her. She's zipping out and then hitting literally We're saying else. maybe you're the one because like she, you're the only one that's triggering her jump. She's, she only cares about you. All right, so I'll just do it. We're playing cat and mouse. Exactly. We're playing Kitsune Pins- and- Pinsir Maneuver. Shadow Kitsune creature. and Shay. Classic tale. Kitsune, Kitsune and Shay. Shay. Uh, tales Classic all case of Kitsune and Shay. Tales all the time. Uh, Zephyr, what do you think? Um, I'm also at half hit points, so I'm definitely not going to chase her. Oh. Okay. I would need to use two actions to get up to her at this point anyway. Just stay, And yeah. just the risk that she would jump again, there's just no point. So I think that Zephyr is just standing there, pissed, bleeding out her mouth and her feet, um, <laughs> and just <laughs> and holding. Feet. Hold. All right, Zephyr. God, I wish hold. somebody else saw Because you don't have any potions. You don't have She's, anything or elixirs. Anything or... else? They'd be dead. Um, I probably. Great. Um, I probably have a get potion. Get out of this encounter. We need. We need her bow. If you could chug badly. Something. If you have one. Um, you should have an elixir of life. Yeah, minor. I should have it. I just like don't know where to look for it right okay. now, and I definitely want to hold. So. Okay. Zephyr is going to hold, as well as our viewing audience. Oh no, you're not. Oh. We'll be right back. Still relying on digital dice rollers for your random number generating needs? There has to be a better way. Now, there is. With the new Glass Cannon Podcast Campaign 2 cast dice sets, you can generate random numbers right on the table. No more hassling with smartphone apps or programs on the internet. No more judgmental stares from the Matthews of the world. And now when you meet that special someone out at the club on a Friday night and they ask you if you own any sets of gemstone dice, you can say yes on your way to sex town. Get your Glass Cannon Podcast Campaign 2 cast dice set today at glasscannonnetwork.com slash store. But order now. Quantities are extremely limited. Except for Joe Dice. We have plenty of Joe Dice. We're back. (laughs) <laughs> Zephyr looks down at her spike wounds. Are they festering? Oh no! Oh, oh that's I do not right. have any healing potions on me. Oh no! Forgot about that. She had like failed to save. She kind of like everything feels a little blurry, a little weird. You see her over there. It's Brother Ramius's turn. Brother Ramius. He looks across at this creature. This thing is awful. Inscrutable. 
Inscrutable, yeah, this masked face. Show yourself, coward. I'm here. But you're not. If we go to you, you run away. Be more scrutable! <laughs> <laughs> Haven't you ever learned to be more scrutable? <laughs> Didn't your parents tell you to be more scrutable? They are my new fleshy interlopers. Her words. What are yours? Echo through your mind. What are yours? We are not thieves. We seek Kanipo. They are mine. Broken record. <laughs> um, okay. Brother Ramius. This is an analogy you would definitely make on <laughs> Galarian. <laughs> yes. Right. Okay. Dude, Brother Ramius, like, his mind is crazy. He has a huge <laughs> collection of elements. You don't know where it's been. His mind is crazy. His mind is crazy, <laughs> bro. <laughs> Uh, okay. Brother Ramius is going to... Let's see. He is going to... Man, this is brutal. I can't believe this works so well. Buggles. Uh, let's see. The room is long, too, so it's, you're set up perfectly for it. Um, Honestly, we should, you should, we should split the caster. So if you don't have anything specific to do, you should come back down to the south end. You think so? Yeah. And then... Because uh, I'm going to move up. I was just going to move up. Talitha can, too, if we need to. Or I can wait. And the, dog, uh, and the dog can get up there as well. Okay. Uh, Brother Ramius will move down. He, you call to him, he'll move down to the south. Buggles, I'm sorry. Though he's not really leaving you in darkness. You can see very well in darkness. Yeah. And he will, he's going to heal Zephyr. So let's get a heal on Zephyr, and hopefully it's pretty good. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Minimum. Garbage! <laughs> Garbage! Nine points of healing. <laughs> Minimum heal. Ugh. Wasted spell slot for the day. Wow. What are we even doing? Yikes. Uh, all right. Is that your turn? That's my turn. Don't wear it out. It is Buggles turn, Zephyr. Still holding. Yep. Buggles has sort of trying to figure out, like he shoomy shoots back into being in control of his own body, and it's it's a jarring experience. It's like having the, it's almost like getting hit in the head. It's just like the the skull is like banging against the inside of his, or the, the his brain is banging up against the inside of his skull. And he's just, oh, he's kind of looking around, not quite sure. He takes a five foot step away from the creature. Okay. And I will say to you that similar to what happened with Zephyr, the creature is concealed to you, even in, though you can see in darkness and dim light because of its shadowy nature, and Brother Ramius is, is no longer pr putting it in the light. Okay. Uh, so he is going to attempt to ignite it. So first he's going to do the flat check against the stupefied condition. Yes, as we've always done. First. Uh, Oh, I can't. Except for those times we did. All right, natural one, so it doesn't go off. Oh. So that's it. Fart. That was the stupefied condition for the record. Yes. He had multiple flat checks ahead of him. I did. I did. Uh, ah, stupefied is brutal. Yeah. Jeepers creepers. Where'd you get those peepers, Talitha? Uh, okay, Talitha will devise a strategy. Or actually, no, I can't because I'm too far away. Uh, so, all right, Talitha is going to rush up yeah, along this the, is the western ridiculous. edge, double move, and then take a single strike. As you move there, she zips down. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Okay. okay. I smack. Well, here. Oh. Well, all right. He Can I finish my turn? Pump the brakes. I smash. <laughs> I smash the shadow lady. Zephyr <laughs> 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 All right, I will. Um, well, you can finish your turn. <laughs> <laughs> Zephyr will allow it. Zephyr will allow it. That was move, double move. I got one action left. I don't. I can't bother drawing the crossbow. Uh, Tulitha will uh, spend another action to make another um, elixir of life. We'll starts making it elixir life. Wait, Asta. did you already make one and drink oh, one? Yes. Or you? Do you want to go before Asta? Me. I'm going. She's next to me. Go. Punch. Hit her. Hit her. Punch. Going. I'm using two actions to have my limbs go all nuts to do my titan swing. Yeah. My deviant yeah. feet. Deviant feet. So you yeah. see her limbs elongate and crack 
and she's got one shot. Do not miss this chance. Oh, when on. do you roll the uh, right thing? now flat check? Not the, it's not concealed, but when do you roll the uh, mishap thing? Right now, I would think I, every time you activate it. What is it called again? Uh, Isn't deviate? the mishap only? If you like do it more than once a day. Nope, every time you every do time. it. And each yeah. time I feel like the, it's the number flat check. I feel like it's after you get yeah, to Yeah, yeah, I don't think your... it interrupts it. No, no, no. Yeah, but whenever you, you attempt to, to use the deviation, a... roll a DC five. Whenever flat you check. attempt. So I'm so wait, wait, wait. Hold on. First or after? Flat check. No, when you For attempt. What? Which you means... say that like it's a written rule. So DC it's, but this in this case. I it's looked the it up, it actually is the For the deviant feet, they're saying you have to roll the mishap. First. No, you just, yeah, yes. You roll and a mishap is, I don't think the word. But yeah, whatever. It's called backlash. 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 Because you still get to do it, but the backlash could create debuffs, basically. So it's a flat check for the backlash. And right. that's what, just making sure Kate knows, because yeah. you guys love yeah, yeah, yeah. to just say <laughs> stuff. Yeah. It's DC5 flat check to, to see if, if, you, if you have a backlash. Pass. Okay. Right. Easy no pass. backlash. Then we have to remember. All right, so now your deviation The increases. next time you use it, it's DC. It's if you were to use it again today, it's uh, now DC 10. DC. So, right. Increases by five. Titan yeah. swing. I make a melee strike. Oh, come with on. With my fists. Let's go. With your fists. Uh, That's okay. What's the, what's the addition? 13. Do you want my bottle cap? I mean, they're just—they're not transferable, and I don't have one, even though I make funny jokes against Joe's expense all the time. <laughs> I mean, I am a bottle pack, bottle cap generating machine, uh, and Troy doesn't give you anything. Uh, you are so due for a natural twenty, Kate. I mean it. Oh, I had one. <laughs> oh my god! You, you are, really know right, how to well, lean into oh it. Oh my and gosh! Nothing happens. Back. It's amazing you never had an older sister. So, oh uh, yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep hitting. Or no, because I held, that was one action. No, correct? no, no, or no. Holding doesn't. Ready and action. Two yeah. actions. So wait, is initiating your deviant feet an action? It's two, two actions, and then one action. But you can't flurry of blows as part of that. Like that one action can't be a flurry. Um, it says make a melee strike. It doesn't say. flurry, Because like my my. Focus I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The two actions include the melee strike. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So you, yes. you could still flurry your blows right now, just out of severe Yes, power. separately. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what I'm going to do. All right, come on. Nat why 20. not? But she has to roll. No, it's gonna be on the you're map. with me. You have the light. You don't have any flat checks. Right, so don't have go. any more flat checks. You got uh, this. So that's a 16 for the first one. Definitely not a hit because we did this. Mm -hmm. um, oh, it's a cracked die. No, it's not. Do you see it? No, it's lean. That's a that's a cracked die if she says it's a cracked die. If it's not a natural 20, it's probably not it. It's an 18. I mean, it's I mean, an 18. It's not it's a cracked die. Could be it's a cracked die, but whatever. You're the one who gets to call it cracked die. Yes. It was lean. Yes. Didn't then roll it again. If it was bad, I would re-roll it and be like, that's a cracked die. So yeah, no, 13. Boop. <laughs> so she's just, you know, <laughs> hitting Salad air. Boop all the Salad covered. <laughs> covered in <laughs> other people's blood. So frustrating. Like, ah! it's, it's really happening. This is so, really happening. So Asta, I mean, the Shays. Shays have a history on the network. <sighs> Asta, what do you got here? Can I, I know if I moved, move through her space, is it possible? Can I move through her? You, to, you don't need to move. Tumble through, through action. You don't have to Just move through her move space. The, go through and then into the corner. You can die, go diagonally. Which around. corner? Oh, okay. Oh, which pit? The diagonal. The pit. Oh, go to from Zephyr to. Go from yeah. Zephyr to just above her. I guess I'm confused about these corner movements. I'm allowed to do that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Sorry. I mean, I'm, you're extremely athletic and yeah. very finished. And she's not that tall. She's like, she's fast and very athletic. Unfortunately, as you go there, she appears behind Buckles. That's cool. <laughs> That's twice in a row. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. So whatever she, it, like. She did it last time. All right, I'm going to cast another low level cantrip because I don't have any spells left. Yeah, there's nothing else you every, can do. It, every bit helps. Uh, you know what? I'm not even gonna do my cantrip. I'm gonna do my one of my feats. I'm gonna do my fox fire, uh, my tail. Where is it? Where is it? But she's just toying with us. That's the thing. It's yeah. like I don't know why because she has to set up actions to do all this shit. I don't know if she's there's something. She's just hitting us once with a dagger. She could put any one of us down she in put, one round if she, she wanted to she full did, attack. She did the void touch to me. No, I know, but that was just round one. Oh, no, and Ember since Zephyr's at half hit points. I'm wondering if there's something else in this room that's allowing her to do this. If it's just not it, something. It might be. Like an aura or something of something? Some object or, or something. Or maybe she can't. No, she can't do it in dim light because she was just not in dim light just then when she did it. Uh, I can't even do my Foxfire. Can you roll a your range. knowledge check? 
of 20, so I'm gonna do Slashing Gust I again. I haven't had the action economy yet, and I won't. I won't, unless... Uh, it's, I think it would be vital. <laughs> I think it would be way more vital than anything I'm else. I'm not trained do. in occultism. Not 20! For what? Oh, for what? For my roll to hit. Do you need to roll a flat check for anything? Yes. That's the flat check, Sydney. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's concealed. Hey, you know what, buddy? Come over here. Come here. I got you. I know exactly what this feels like. <laughs> oh, man. I've been there. Uh, I've rolled a natural 20 on the flat The thing I really object to is to being like, oh, no, that roll isn't what you roll. At least oh, I'm not alone done, now we've never in my done sorrow that. and pain. That's, we've never done that. We've, we've always been like, hey, you forgot the flat check. I will say. We, did, we retroactively. She's in moving early in. Episode. I swear to God, if you give her this. No, she, I'm not giving it to her. She moves in and out of the light constantly. I will say, in earlier episodes, I said, let's do it the other way around. Even though you corrected me and say no, the flat check has to be first. I didn't in say the rules, I, mean, you said that, I just like, said you have to stick to whatever you stick to. No, but early episodes, I said, ah, it's more fun this way, and you were like, yeah, you're right. It in is the more rules, fun. it does say. But then we talked about this. At it some says point, when so, something is about to happen, you make the flat, flat check, check first. So I, we were just kind of. Sorry, I mean it's not on me. I rolled the die. That's what it is. That's fine. That's my flat check. I just think it's stupid. She's jumping around in and out of light constantly, so I don't know when she's. Yeah, I can't see when check. she's in what light. You can see Brother Amius's light. Any anytime. I cannot see 20 feet from me. You guys you know can't see, see his light? No. You know what I see? No. I can see it's his been, light. It's, I cannot. Well, you I, know it's 20 feet. I see another net 20 coming. Let's watch this. Let's just okay. do it. What Let's are you just, doing, by the way? Watch. You I'm casting a spell. spell. Shut up. Watch this. Just start rolling. Fuck. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a net 19. There we go. Oh! There we go. Might be crit. Might be. That's a 24. Um, uh, with uh, the uh, it's a spell and it's a cantrip. Leave me I got, alone. I got you. I got you. With the uh, whatchamacallit, with the cover, that is a that is a hit. Cool. Phenomenal. That's gonna be six points of damage. What kind of damage? Force, void. I believe. Void damage? I believe it's. <laughs> I think it's void. What's the spell? Can you tell us the spell? Sorry, it's slashing gust. Uh, it's the one I did before. I, it's actually. Oh, um, Windscar. Slashing damage. Slashing, yeah. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Does it say S? Oh, a critical success. You also might take bleed, but it is slashing damage. Spell attack, really? Yeah. yeah. Okay, six points. That wasn't slashing a crit success. That wasn't a crit success, right? Gust. Uh, 24? No, no. No. And what 18, like, didn't hit her in the beginning of the combat. Oh, yeah, I remember. Yeah. It's the furthest thing from. Uh, so that's a two-drawn action. That's my cool turn once again. Okay. It's my turn, and I will stab Buggles. Oh, my God. Yet again. Buggles. Uh, that yeah. is probably going to be a miss with a uh, 14. No, excuse is, me, 15. That is a miss. That 15. Is a miss. Uh, so she misses. Hands go out. <laughs> yeah, she's toying with us and like um, this is too easy. I mean, we, the thing is, we've also missed some critical moments. Yeah, right. The, you're, yeah, but I, we're I all wrong. Like, so bad. What our, she's not unloading. But our plan is working. I just moved up to her and she moved away again. So is this the plan we're fucking running with? Because it sucks. Yeah. I I think it's the only thing we can do unless okay. we can find a way to disrupt this ability. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I think I think the one the thing that would make the hugest difference if Joe is you can roll this check and maybe we learn something. It's just so hard because I, I, I'm not trained in Arcana, and it's so I'm trained hard. in nature. You have, wait, you have, also you have Arcana, right? Yeah. Someone needs to roll. Someone needs to roll some sort of check. Arcana, occultism, whatever. I'll double move next time and then roll an Arcana, right. or something. We'll see what happens. We, seem, we need to know what this is, otherwise we're never. No, I agree with you, but I, 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 I believe we're pretty confident the only thing we can roll is Arcana and occultism, right? On this particular creature, Troy, can you tell is us? Is this like a monk thing? Can I roll a monk check? Monk. Uh, <laughs> monk check. I can roll stabling lore. You know what? I don't allow first world lore. <laughs> oh my god! I, I mean, the next skill feed I get is going to just get wasted. Actually, can't. <laughs> Brother Ramius, please waste this round. It's your Brother Ramius, please just, just roll the check. Just, just see yourself out. <laughs> uh, all there right, are four doors. Just roll yourself. the knowledge check. Recall knowledge. Um. Okay. It's been a while since we had a real. How does it work with recall knowledge? It's like you combat. can just roll anything that you're not trained in. Maybe you just take your basic what do you have? intelligence. You need to bonus. take a feat for that. I thought you did too, but I think that the feat might be that you get your level as a bonus. Yeah. But if you don't have the feat, can you still roll it and you just don't get any bonus like except your ability untrained. modifier? You cannot make untrained knowledge check with a DC higher than 10. Yeah. But that might be 1A, I'm not sure. Oh, that is that does sound like 1A, actually. All right, so from what I'm reading here, I was paying attention to you. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> the music we were, cut out. We were I was quiet like, oh, in uh, song just ended. I think. Yeah, it's at the <laughs> like, climax. Um, I don't think you can use a skill you're not trained in, but you could use whatever knowledge skill you have, and he can just raise the DC. Mm. 
Mm. Is it the case? It says you you attempt Stabling. a skill check to try to remember a bit of knowledge regarding a topic related to that skill. You could you could roll athletics to do recall knowledge. Yeah. Suggest which suggest which skill you'd like to use and ask the GM one question. Did you know yeah. that I'm sitting cross-legged right now? No, are you really? That is incredible feats. Wow. You do that sometimes. Yeah, it's oh, pretty that's crazy. Does it feel good for your lower back? You're like a follower of the keeper. Well, I don't want to say it. It's like you're flo <laughs> you're like floating right now. Yeah, for real. All right, um, man, I am. I mean, you could justify it in in universe too. It's like just because this is an arc arcane ability doesn't mean there isn't an ability that's similar in a religion, you know, in a but divine spell. Also, I just want to say, Joe, if you don't feel confident that Troy is going to let you roll athletics for this, I will roll Arcana on my turn. It doesn't hurt for you to roll too, but don't feel like this is the end all. I'll, I'll do it as well. If you can do something better, like help Buggles, he's bleeding a lot. Yeah, and I, uh, I so I hear you, I hear you, but I feel like I, I need to, I just can't let this light situation linger and Buggles needs help. Yeah. Um, the number one thing we can do to improve our chances in this combat is to understand this ability. Now, I agree with you, but I, I think he's going to make the DC the unreachable. You're we just to... basically saying, I need to roll a natural 20. and I, I agree with you. We have to fill the room with light somehow. Yeah. I think that's the thing. Yeah. So, uh, well, that, that, Brother Amos is going to move yeah. back to the middle of the room towards Buggles. Uh, be like, Keeper, no, you cannot let Buggles fall. He's too important to the future. And uh, he is going to heal you, Buggles. Oh. Uh, please don't shit the bed, Keeper. Come on. Keeper. There we go. 15 points. Oh, hex yeah. Of healing as the healing light of the Keeper washes oh. over you. What's happening? That feels great. Uh, um, <laughs> and that's his round. That's his action. And that's his round, Buggles. All right, Buggles. His mind's still reeling, although with renewed optimism because of the healing he's, re he's received is going to attempt and we said we said our uh, occult was optimal occult or arcane yep equally uh, optimal i think i think right? they're both Troy, what's the answer mm -hmm. yeah, 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 yeah okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, both same for me rhubarb rhubarb no that is terrible so damn it uh Oop. he oh okay all right so that was an arcana check now we'll do an occult check Okay. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. Damn it. I actually, I'm not. Are we sure about that? I think it's like once you attempt to check whatever skill you're using. Why don't you take a second action there? I, I don't think you can do that. It, I mean, I really, there's nothing I could do anyway. So. Command the dog. No. Oh, yeah. It's Buggles, yeah. It's so, bu Buggles doesn't do that. Yeah, he's yeah. not, he's not, Buggles is not really aware of the presence of the dog right now. Does um, the dog, does the dog have any abilities? Name continue? me! <laughs> Does the dog continue to act on the previous command because it didn't get to do it in the previous no, round? No. Sorry. That's all right. uh, I actually, I say that confidently. I don't know about that spell, but your typical minion animal companion cannot act on its own until it is a mature animal companion, yeah. which is like a higher you need a. You also need a feat for it. It be like fourth level. Suki has it for Pepsi. It's a feat specifically. So every round has the Your minion acts on your turn once per turn when you spend an action to issue it commands. Uh -huh. Yeah. Same there is a feat it. that allows it to do one action on its own but it has to be a mature animal companion. Got it. A little higher level. All right. Buggles. You got one more. Maybe you could aid. Buggles uh, is going, he's going to, you know, he has to cast a spell, so he, oh, okay. he raises a shield and his mind is still just swimming and he's just like, help me, help me. He's just like so holding scary. this shield up before him between oh. him and this creature. And that's it. Wow. Talitha. Uh, Talitha will sheathe her uh, her rapier, draw her crossbow, and shoot. Okay. Thanks, Miss. Brother Ramius. Oh, God, the die rolls. <laughs> Man. The Norse Foundry. <laughs> Norse Foundry is killing this part. Fly okay. away on my zephyr. Fly away. Oh, that's it? That's the end of your turn? Zephyr. You I just did a. Sheath, draw, shoot. Oh. oh. Even oh, I thought Kate you were doing disappointed your by your. I like it though. I like it because now you'll be able to I do. Can now, a, I can devise a strategy. Devise with, with a range. Remind me to reload if I don't. If I don't. I'm on it. Um, not running up to her. Um, you afraid? No, it's just going to take me two actions to do it. Dive down, get the bow. And then she's going to bounce out of existence because I just saw her get into her stance again. Luganus. So. Yeah, but you know what? <laughs> Give it a shot. I think give it a shot because if she bounces anywhere near this way, you're opening up her for a spell strike. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, is it your turn after Oh, me? but she can do it twice in a round. It's my turn Fuck. before her. 
So regardless, yeah. I could hit her. At the very least, it gets her away from Buggles. Yes, and well, we need that. She can do another reaction though, right? We don't know yet. I don't know. But she'll probably jump away from you. But even still, let's say this. Let's say you go up there, she jumps away, and then she gets in within range of Asta, and Asta runs to her. She needs to jump away again. Yeah. And that would be, ne you'd be near Buggles if she did that. Yeah, I guess a, a little bit like I'd want to be near Buggles because I feel bad for him. I know yeah. he needs help. He's scared. He doesn't see the dog over there. So yeah, I'll just. So I love how we're kind of converging. On Brother Amy comes up, yeah. heals him. Fruit Zephyr comes up, <laughs> defend him. Fruitlessly take two actions to run up to her. Fruitless. I mean, you're the ideal person to do that. Yeah, no, it's not. You can flurry your blows with one action. Fruitless are none of the actions of Zephyr. In Unless she blinks. And she boom yeah. appears next to Brother ah. Amius. To somewhere where we didn't want her to be. Ah, Joe. Gross. Look at your face. <laughs> Gross. But you can get there. You yeah. move. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm gonna do a knowledge check with my last action, or should I just do an aid? I don't. I don't have um, a cult or or arcana. I have just one point in each. Um, but I guess I could just roll, and if I get nothing, no. I, that's what we're saying. I don't think you can, but you could roll Wait, like nature or got it on your something you're trained. It's not in. trained, but I have a, a plus one in both. Oh, that's just from your ability. Um, I'm trained in nature. Give it a shot. I mean, yeah, if it's, she's oh, no. Faye, then, then that would make sense. Because of First World. Can you just raise the DC? Yes, Jesus Christ. No. No. Okay. Doesn't matter what the math is. This is We're, we are so cold. Bad. Asta. So terrible. Asta, let's see if she can do it again. Asta is going to run using first action movement. Shroom appears next to Talitha. Okay. Um, uh, fudge. It's all good. You got her away from Should Brother Should I do Amos. an Arcana check, though, instead of casting a spell? I think so. Yeah, because yeah. I only have one option. So I'm going to do the Arcana check. Come on. Find out what the F is going on here. You know what? I'll use my die. I don't know why I announce it as if this roll is going to go really well. <laughs> but I'm using a Sydney die. Your Sydney GCP my campaign two oh. die. Oh. GCP campaign die. The test die that we got sent. Uh, don't roll bad. It'll kill sales. <laughs> Skid just looks. <laughs> what's a what's a ten give me? Oh, oh god. my god! That's definitely a shay. It's gonna give you a massive That's discount. Definitely a shay. <laughs> <laughs> this is boning me. <laughs> so we should just, just leave the room nothing. and be like, you know well, what? if you don't want to fight, then see ya. You know what? <laughs> I, that was one action, yeah. right? Honestly. I'm not. I'm not opposed to just leaving. We that, should just leave. That was one action, right? There's nothing worse. Uh, a knowledge check. Table that was really your second down. action yeah. because you moved her. Yes. I'm going to do another knowledge, and you know what? It's it's. Yeah, we just, yeah. No, no, no. I'm going to do an occultism. It's the same. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's what we decided. I don't. I actually yeah. don't know that rule. That yeah. Matthew seems to have read that rule. I, it just seems kind of. I crazy. don't think that that's the rule. My occultism's lower. Yeah, but it, it seems weird to be like I, I'm going to try to remember it. Now thinking about it with the occult in mind. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I think. Uh, I think the, the skill check no represents. Seems normal to me. <laughs> I, um, I mean, the whole the whole rule assumes that you'll know everything that you could possibly know within like one and a half seconds. All right, I'm gonna attack her. Let me see how far well, you away can do she additional is. knowledge. Is 25 like feet. Only if you first. Is she 25? Remember. No, no, I know, but that's like. Yeah. You, but then it's like I can't remember things. Like then it's just like then you, you will uh, guaranteed never to know anything. No, it's, you know, it's the whole. That's my turn. I can't do any spells that are one. My foxfire is a 20 foot distance. Can't even do my foxfire. Hey. Damn. That's it. Can we? So I'm wondering if there's a way to reposition you. And now here's here's an interesting interesting thing. It has only whenever it blinks, it only it always ends up in melee with one of us, right? Am I am I wrong? Yeah, I think he's just keeping the pressure on, and he wants to start his turn in melee with. Yeah, to stab. He can someone. do the last he two actions. To get in she doesn't seem again. to have ranged attack. So then the other thing we could do is all move up on her. But then she could just come, you know, back in the back. And then we shoot her with range. That's yeah. Why and then force her to move. But she, just, she wants to hurt us. For instance, we don't right. have range. She just moved in a way where, like, if we all rush up on her, she'll just blink like ten feet behind someone. No, and we you can't. know what? I love it. Let's just let's just do it. Get everyone get up. Everybody on the go up on her because at least she'll start her turn not in melee with somebody. Hopefully. Okay. So you know what? Second, third action. Yeah. I'm just gonna move, move right up to her. I'm gonna move again yes! 25 feet. Okay. And I I'm like gonna move this. directly next to her on the eastern side. Okay. Okay. Great. Or. And she doesn't move. Now is this because? She's gonna stab me. No. Is this because she is out of it, or because she uh, knows you don't have an attack left? Well, Troy knows I don't have an attack left, and that's how he's playing. So, you guys don't know. 
No, we do. No, assumptions. we don't. A lot of assumptions on this side. A lot of roll, a lot of low recall knowledge checks. A lot of, lot of bad a lot of, ro- a lot of bad rolling. Just bad yeah. rolling. Really bad playing. I had some good rolls. I'm punishing you guys. I actually, right. think, I actually think we're playing I think we're playing it as best we can. I just, yeah. you don't have the knowledge. It's easy for me because I know it's. Do you guys remember when Kate and I rolled nat 20s? That was fun, but it didn't mean anything. Crushed that could have made a checks. difference. <laughs> uh, could have changed the perception of how we're playing. Yeah. It made a better episode. Yeah. Here's what we're going to do. Yeah. I think it would have made a lot less. What's going to happen now, Troy? Sometimes. I learned the hard way. It's uh, going to, uh, I think it's going to cast a spell here. It's done uh, toying with you and just wants to kill you. And so uh, reaches out to Talitha. Give me a fortitude save. Enjoy doing the rest of the combat without me. <laughs> Natural 15, so all right. Okay. 19. All right. 19. Uh, all right, so you, that's a fail. You will take. Same, same spell? Uh, yeah, you're going to take eight points of void damage. Uh, and then... Uh, so wait a minute, that spell is dealing... Oh, that's a fail? That's a failure. 19? Hmm? A uh, result of 19 is a fail against her spell DC. Mm-hmm. Oh, great. It's just a well, creature. awesome. It's a five-on-one yeah. fight. Uh, and now she's going to stab... Uh, you look pretty weak. I'll stab you, Talitha. Uh, and that is going to be a 19 to hit. Just hits. Oh. Just hits. And that will be uh, seven piercing along with three cold. Oh, man. Would you care to guess how many hit points I had left? I'm going to say 10. You're going to, you would be oh, right. Oh, jeez. Oh, Let down. me guess a Sydney nine. So you're <laughs> 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 good call. We've taken to calling That's a good. Sydney nine around. Here. That's good. <laughs> That's how I do too. Call it back like a baker's dozen. Like a baker's dozen. Like a baker's dozen. Oh. Uh, oh, because you're not wounded. <laughs> right, 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 right. Okay. Talitha goes down yet again. Yes. One down, four to go. They are mine, and you are finished, brother Ramius. Oh my God. Just pointless. Nobody move up to her, cause now I can stab her. Well, no, she's she can't blink. She didn't get into her stance. She didn't get into her stance. If that's what. So. If that's what it was, unless the trigger is that it's something else. But mm, yeah. But maybe it's not. I move up. I to don't her. know what I don't else know. the stance was. <laughs> <laughs> creepy clown. Well, unless she's a unless creepy she's clown. She looks like a creepy she clown. Sp- she hasn't da, 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 da. <laughs> All right, let's try it out. Brother Ramius will move up to her. Brother Ramius will move up to her. Okay. You move up to her. And she appears behind Zephyr. Unbelievable. She doesn't even have to go in the stance. She doesn't have to go in the stance. It's just a reaction. She I'm telling you. No, it's, it's not. Because she's done it multiple it's, times. It has something to do with the environment. Oh, it, oh I, think I, I think I'm on the same page as Skid, though, with the darkness. Maybe it's like if there's a darkened... She did it in light. She did it in she light. Did it in light? Yeah. No, but she moved into darkness. Didn't she? No. no yeah. She's still in light. She's still in the light. See the, well, then there's something, shit. I don't I know. I mean, the only other thing you could do is do perception checks around the room to see if any, you notice anything. I think when she's not in the stance, she can do that once. When she's in the stance, she can do it many times. That's what you think? That's yep. I don't think she can do it again. Well, you have a turn. About to, to find out. Yeah, all of you guys can tee but off you on just her. You just did one action, so what are I you going to do? I just did one do? action, and then I'll heal Talitha. Okay. All right, one action. Uh, no, two action heal on Talitha, so that is uh, 13 points of healing. <gasps> Talitha, we need you, please. Get up. Talitha is wounded, no longer dying. Can't right. just lay here all day. Wounded and prone. Wounded Wounded and prone. one and wounded one, right? Yeah, you wounded only went one, down one. Wounded one, because you me. There's wounds. Or no, we feed, These feed wounds, wounds. won't see. Now Buggles' turn. Buggles is right next to her. Okay, so yeah, Buggles, he has this shield raised and he's like trembling with fear, begging for help. And then it's just like, boom, his eyes flash red. <laughs> boom, the globe of fire swirls yes! around him. Say, I burned, witch. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to turn into bottle cap here. Oh. Okay. I really need this to hit. Uh, okay, so, oh, do I have any flat checks that no. I have to make? No flat checks. You also don't have to spend that. You don't have to spend that until you don't so like you that roll. The, re- the result of the okay. roll. Okay. Yeah. Right. 
Okay. And you are you you're no longer stupefied. Well, right? I, I I already rolled twice. So. And he's no longer stupefied. And I'm no longer stupefied. Okay. Um. Okay. So that is that is a t- twenty-one to hit. Twenty-one to hit. Hits. Yes. <laughs> okay. All right. That's and I'm, that's fourteen points of damage. Ooh. Nice. Fourteen Ooh. points of what kind of damage? Uh, fire damage. Unfortunately, is that. Who's who's next to him? That's Zephyr. Z- Zephyr also takes one point of fire okay. splash damage. Well, it's Sad. like shoo, boom, like he hits him with the like it snaps and like right in her face, like boom, her face like ignites, <laughs> and then he whips his 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 head around to uh, to Chami and he says, "Tell her." <laughs> oh, I love it. Okay, so you have an action left. Yeah. All right, yeah. so Chame uh, can use one action to move. Well, shit. Tommy gets two actions. Yeah, and he can go under the table. Can he go? He could go, go under, the, under table. the table. No, he can't go under that. the vivisection table. Why? Uh, one, two, uh, three, what stops four, him? There's a mechanism there. He, that... he can get there in five. Does he have 25 feet of movement? Five, ten, There's a fifteen. Dog. I'm going the other way. Four. Oh, sorry. Five, ten. Five, twenty, ten. He has Diagonal. 30 feet of movement. He 25. Can he can do it. He can do it. 35 would be here, right? 30. 30. If he can, does he That's have 30? two diagonals? Yeah. yeah. That'd be 35. You no. get, you get a five, uh, 10, right, so try, 20. Try no, no, I just no, want to no, make no. sure we do it right. Five, 10, 10 20, 30. No, 20 no. is the diagonal. diagonal. If he goes to 20, it would Oh, go. did I say 20 and right, yes. right to 30? Yes. Oh, so 25. All right, let's try it again. <laughs> <laughs> it's five, 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 10, 10. Diagonal. diagonal, 20. 20. It's diagonal. No, diagonal. 20. Yeah. 20. <laughs> 30. 30. 30. 30. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Actually, it's only 35. It's every other diagonal. Yeah, I got you. All right, so yeah. you're good. <laughs> okay. uh, all right, so you want to roll to it's a bite, yeah. All right, so let me Come see the, the stats for your hound. dog here. A hound. Um, well, a you rolled a hit. That's, hound. Uh, that's a 95. Okay. All right, so the dog gets up there, boom, takes a big uh, bite and misses. I love that the dog is yeah. following the command, though. Is this a consumable? Traditionally, like an onyx, or is it like you? No, I think it's over? usually something that it's like you have it. You can activate for a certain amount of time every day, but like it's it's, it's like, permanent. It's like you can keep oh, reacting. That would be cool if you have that. That's it's awesome. once per week. Yeah. Oh, Troy once told per, us. Once oh, per, you did. I'm sorry. Yeah, I did an amazing arcana. Six hours. Yeah. Zephyr, it is your turn. You're standing right next to her. Kill her. Fly away you are due. Zephyr. You are due. Kill her. Fly away. I'm just, and no flat check this time. I'm Come just going to disappoint you guys. No, you're not. No, you, no, you not. won't. Stop that Never. Talk. Stop Never. That talk. Stop it. Stop that talk. Okay. Stop it. Well, let's see. Go no, piss, 20. girl. <laughs> what? What did you just say? Did you just you tell, tell her to go, go piss? piss? <laughs> what did you say? Go a, piss, girl. Go piss, girl. Is that what you said? <laughs> Is that a thing? You 20-something for saying? You, you need to squeeze in one more go piss before you're 30, go you weirdo. Yes. That is girl. a thing. It is, it a, is thing. a thing. Kate loves it. That is a thing. It's go so piss girl. Stupid. Is that a TikTok thing? It's so stupid. Is it's it nothing. like a superhero piss girl? <laughs> it's, it's like a go like, piss girl. Go girl. It's like go piss girl. Go piss girl. Like it's like wow. a it's a positive affirmation in a silly little way. Yeah. Okay. Go piss World's girl. World's changing. You know what? <laughs> Just girls piss. As long as it's positive. Nature I, is great. healing. I'm really pop thing. Come on. You're due to piss. Go piss girl. Piss. You you can't say that. Yeah. Oh wait. <laughs> you can't say that. You are due to piss. You're not a girly pop. <laughs> go go. Hey, we go. hurry up and piss. Hurry up and piss. That's what's wrong. Oh my God. 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 Oh my Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay. Joe just broke our three right, thousand dollar life. Which is happened? <laughs> All right. Uh, so that was so great. Natural okay. twenty. So, that is amazing. Right? Oh my god. <laughs> You're such an Joe, that is so, a named character. <laughs> that was the concealment. <laughs> that was the concealment. <laughs> okay. Now to oh, hit. First hit. Natural twenty. What do we want to do first? We want to do the fan critical oh, first. Oh, let's do the fan do we critical. Do the, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The fortitude save first. Let's or do. What is it? Let's do the fan. <sighs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Joe ripped his. <laughs> Joe ripped my ripped. headphones off. <laughs> wet. Oh God, that was so much fun. All right. <laughs> this so one wet. is from Stefan in Hamburg. I see. Oh, hello, hey. Stefan. Deutschland. Hamburg rocks. How do you Hearing. say piss in German? How do you say piss in German? <laughs> I'm going to look piss it up. German. It's probably like schnoodle. Piss. It's just yeah. piss. It's just it's piss. piss. They, they know how to do it right. 
Yes. I've been to a town in Germany called Dinkelsbuhl. How oh, fun. Oh. And they sell little like popsicles of a little boy peeing. <gasps> oh. oh, do you know about that, Stefan? Which part is the <laughs> stick? This is the stick. Okay. <laughs> All right, this one is long, and I hate long ones. Lolly but this one seems Lolly like bumps. a good long one. Here we go. Everything Stefan in from Hamburg. Longer. Earn your keep. Mm -hmm. time. <laughs> Just <laughs> summarize it. What he's basically saying is, you figure out this crit. It's not my job. And re <gasps> the re main reason is because Skid is right. Oh. All right. Most of these don't make any sense. There we go. So explain how the below came to pass. First thing you got to do is roll a critical confirmation roll. So roll again to hit using the same modifier. And let's get the result of that. I don't like this so far. Uh, it's a 19. What would a 19 be against her AC? A miss. A miss. Okay. So that would be double damage and apply one of these conditions to your target. Slowed one. Oh, there we go. Flat footed or frightened one. Your choice. Oh. Wow. Don't do frightened. Yeah, slowed. I was thinking slow. Slowed is yeah. amazing. Yeah. Slowed is great. Uh, take an action away. Yeah. What yeah. does Skid need to do? And then you skid decides? No, and then we, you have to decide, earn skid your key. Decides? What happened? What did you do with this hit that slowed her? What did I do? Um, I punched her so hard her mask came off. <gasps> oh! What did you say? Did you say? <laughs> <laughs> we know each other really <laughs> well. I punched her. <laughs> exactly what you do. <laughs> Freaking did cross you punch right to the face <laughs> oh. and her mask That's like shattered. Oh, cracked. that is cracked. amazing. Cracked her mask. Give it to me. Boom, it to me. you punch the mask. The mask splits <gasps> and there is nothing there. Oh my It God. is just pure black smoke coagulating and watching. Give me the double damage. Double damage. Double damage. Let's see. Um, so that's 14 points of damage. Nice. And you kill her. Yeah! 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 I will see you next week! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh! 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 Oh!